Buses are big. Rolls Royces are big. Bulldozers are big. Lorries are big. There's big, and then there's the biggest in the world. In fact, when it comes to the largest land vehicle on Earth, it's so big it weighs as much as almost 12,000 Ford Fiestas. Yes, it's that big. But what does it look like, and where does it operate? This vehicle owns and shares some records for terrestrial vehicle size in the Guinness Book of Records. The Bagger 293, this humongous beast doesn't even look like it belongs on Earth, but it's been crowned the heaviest terrestrial vehicle on the planet. But what is this beast? Bagger 293 is a bucket wheel excavator or mobile strip mining equipment manufactured by Krupp in Germany for the Rheinbraun Energy and Mining Corporation for $100 million. Bagger 293 was the world's biggest land vehicle when it was finished in 1978, surpassing NASA's Crawler Transporter, which carried the Space Shuttle and the Apollo Saturn V launch vehicle, with a height of 311 feet and a length of 705 feet, it is 45,500 tons heavy. In all, the machine took 10 years to develop, build, and assemble. This German mining equipment is one of the world's biggest land vehicles, standing taller than the Statue of Liberty and weighing more than the Eiffel Tower. A bucket wheel excavator like this one is used to cut out an entire town in HBO's Westworld. Open pit mines employ these diggers. 8.5 million cubic feet of soil can be moved each day by the Bagger 293 excavator, which has a spinning wheel of buckets for shoveling. Where is it used? The Bagger 293 was designed to remove overburden from the Tagebau Hambach coal mine in Germany before mining could begin. Daily, it is capable of excavating the equivalent of a soccer field to a depth of 30 meters or 265,000 tons of brown coal, often known as lignite, in a single day. And what about the staff needed to handle such a massive tanker? In order to run the machine, four to five persons are required. The bagger consists of four conveyor belts, collect overburden or lignite from buckets, and transport the material at a speed of over 11 miles per hour. The belts are each 10.5 feet wide, making it easy to transport a smart car on them. The 13,000 tons bagger moves at a slow speed of 0.4 miles per hour using 8,600 square feet of the tread. The excavator is powered by 5,600 feet of electrical lines, each of which is the diameter of a man's arm. It can consume as much energy as a 20,000 person city does at any given time. The structure has 88,000 pounds of paint on it and is made up of two 148-foot-tall pylons. The bucket height wheels are equivalent to a seven-story structure at 71 feet. Its 18 empty buckets weigh 7,700 pounds each and can shovel 230 cubic feet of soil, enough to fill a cargo vehicle. Four 840 kilowatts motors power this massive bucket wheel excavator with a total driving power of 3,360 kilowatts. It's the same as or more than 30 small sedans. When the excavator travels over grass or soil, it leaves traces no deeper than a human footprint. Bagger 293 travels at a 10 meter per minute speed and needs at least three weeks to complete a 22 kilometer journey. Bagger 293 is now owned and managed by RWE, a large energy company, and it is part of a fleet of 1958 built vehicles of the same size. There are no other earth diggers that can move mountains like the RWE Bagger 293. Similar machines can be used to move mountains in Rosia, Montana, Romania, in order to find gold. Canadian business. Rosia, Montana Gold plans to use Bagger 293 to assist in achieving this goal. Additionally, the Bagger 293 appeared in the film Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, which came out in 2012. The protagonist in the film has used the Bagger 293 as a form of threat against his opponents. What do you think?